Happy New Year's, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Help Stop the Genocide in American Ghettos podcast. I'm your host, Emmanuel Barbie. I would like to encourage everyone on my Facebook friends list, everyone in my social groups, and all of my listeners worldwide, please do me a favor. Hit that like button and share this video podcast with your friends, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. It's free. Help make this video podcast go viral by posting this link to your Facebook page, your Instagram page, and or on your Twitter page. This video podcast is available in three forms. Audio, video, and as a written text in order for us to reach our audience. On my YouTube channel, you can watch my latest video podcast. I provide direct links to our virtual store, my Amazon author page, our PayPal page, my Medium page, and our GoFundMe page under the About section. We look forward to having you on board with this with us as we embrace upon this exciting project. If you are listening to this audio podcast on Anchor, just click on the YouTube icon to connect with my YouTube channel. In order to follow along with my presentation, I strongly recommend everyone on my Facebook friends list exchange emails with me so that I can email you everything I do online. I encourage all of my listeners to follow me on my Medium page. This is where I post my transcript so that you can read my full speech word for word or click on the audio version to hear my speech. I use this platform to interact with everyone on my friends list and everyone in my social groups by giving black business owners free airtime to promote their products and services. I give people in the faith community an opportunity to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. I give black authors and, and ordinary law buying citizens an opportunity to share their special talents and skills to my listeners from around the globe. After the show, I offer my guest speakers an incentive by teaching them how to create their own podcast and YouTube channel to help them earn extra revenue. I also assist people on my friends list with creating basic websites, finding college scholarships and grants, housing and legal services, all for free. I am not interested in writing and publishing more books, but rather producing quality black empowerment films and creating successful black businesses. I am not online to beg for donations. I want to exchange something of value. My thing is, if I am do going to ask for something, then I'm going to have a product or service behind it. This podcast is an extension of the grassroots community activist movement. Over here, we promote critical thinking while discussing social issues throughout the diaspora and on the African continent until the Grassroots Community Activist Institute of Chicago materialize. It's my hope that through this podcast and through my social groups, I can connect with other like-minded black people, African people, Afro-Caribbean people, Afro-Brazilian people, and others who will work with me directly and turn in my vision and plan for black America and Africa into a reality. Once we get this film project fully funded and made and get our Christian business up and running, then I would love to invite many of you to Chicago, Illinois to speak or preach during our live events. Through the Grassroots Community Activist Institute of Chicago, we will help pay for your travel and hotel expenses depending on our budget and sponsorship. We will also compensate you for your time and talent. Upcoming events. Please mark your calendar for Saturday, January 28th. We are hosting our monthly virtual conference. I would like to personally invite everyone on my Facebook friends list and everyone in my social groups to our next Facebook Live event. Theme, my wish for 2023. Time, 2 p.m. through 4 p.m. 
American Central Time, 3 p.m. Canadian Time, 8 p.m. West African Time, 9 p.m. South African Time, 10 p.m. East African Time, and 8 p.m. UK Time. If you would like to be on the panel, just send me a message to my Facebook inbox for additional information. If you are unable to participate, then please share my Facebook Live event with your friends and leave a public comment about the topic on my YouTube channel or on my Facebook page. This will help get the ball rolling. Instructions on how to participate on the show. First, watch my video podcast. This is called Side A. After I finish my presentation, then I will open up the phone lines through Facebook Messenger. This is called Side B. You can interact with me in real time, either by voice call, by clicking on the phone icon, or by video call, like by, by clicking on the camera icon. Today's topic of discussion is as follows. We're Cam Legacy Builders, taking our story to the big screen and reparation for descendants of American slaves slash foundational black Americans. Our first topic. Gukam Legacy Builders, taking our story to the big screen. Change is in the air. I am going to do a retrospective in this presentation. I want to discuss what we are doing through this video podcast. We have been long-suffering and using perseverance to get our message out to the black masses. When I started podcasting 17 years ago, there was contempt on all fronts in real life and online. I was not getting pushback from white people. I got pushback from black people. This Willie Lynch slave mentality has to be dealt with in order for us to move forward as a racial group. Now our focus is is on going to take our story to the big screen in order to reach the black masses. The white supremacist financial elites thought they could distract us with modern day gadgets such as smartphones, tablets, and TV. Cable TV. The seeds from the resistance during the civil rights era are now bearing fruit. We gather for what has been stolen our ancestors' bodies, labor, and their land. On this podcast, we're not here to be entertained. We're not here to integrate. We're here to network with other like-minded black people, African people, Caribbean people, and Brazilian people. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. tried to warn black America. He said if the black church does not change, then the next generation would view the black church as irrelevant. Dr. King Jr. prophecy has come to pass. We went to where the young people are, that social media sites like YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, etc. For 31 years, I, I have sound the alarm warning black America that you have two choices, either embrace annihilation or embrace survival. I have faith in our young people. This is why I created my social groups for both Christians and secular people to prove they are not alone. The time has come for us to turn my ideas into a real Christian business, the Grassroots Community Activist Institute of Chicago. When I started The grassroots community activist movement, the objective was to connect with other like-minded black people, African people, Afro-Caribbean people, and Afro-Brazilian people. Also, I wanted to change the narrative to be black economic empowerment for us to build a legacy and provide resources necessary to thrive for uh, our children. It's hard to respect the black baby boomers who did not pass anything down to the next generation. Over here, we will 
because we are going to build Grakai of Chicago by moving from behind a computer. Our first task is to encourage everyone on my friend Facebook friends list and everyone in my social groups to donate to our film project on our GoFundMe page. Display your name and the amount you are contributing. We will acknowledge every person in our film during the credits. Also, help get my revised book on the bestsellers list. This will show the world we are serious about making things happen. Grakam is about offering 21st century solutions and solving black issues in America and solving African issues on the continent. Producing is the law of the land. For every black male who is listening to this video podcast, I recommend that you have at least six months or more of income in your savings accounts. I also recommend that you have a 700 plus credit score in order to build up your credit. I also recommend that you don't have any children until you are financially established. I'm just saying, if you don't want to have to go through the um, unnecessary um, struggles, financial struggle, struggles, that is. This is called having standards. What is your ability to turn $1 into $5? That is the question you will be dealing with for the rest of your life. Your competence and ability to answer the question is going to determine the type of life you will live. The lack of business ownership is the main reason black Americans are the poorest racial group in America. It's all done by design. Some people say that I have failed as a black leader. I beg to differ. First, I offer something that no black leader in America has, and that is a solution to solve all of our social problems in America if given a chance. It's not my fault that black Chicago has rejected and overlooked my vision and plan for for black America. All I have is my revised book and my virtual store. If black America was serious about solving these issues, then my revised book would have been on the bestsellers list by now, but it's been on Amazon for 10 years and still barely selling. My items on my virtual store is barely selling, but the black community support local drug dealers who is causing more harm and unnecessary casualties in the black community. It is what it is. This is why I am reaching out to the global African family. I do not want to be bogged down in American issues. My message to African immigrants in America, if you work with me in getting our Christian business up and running, then we will come to your country and help set up local chapters chapters there during our African tours. Over here, we want to build a bridge between Black America, African immigrants, Afro-Caribbean, and Afro-Brazilians so that we can benefit each other's community. Some of my critics or naysayers told me that I will be doing this another 31 years. I tell them I beg to differ. We will be using our GoFundMe page as an indicator of how much we have raised for this film and where exactly the funds will will be going for the world to see. I do not operate like the next black man. I have my own style and way of doing things. If you know that your mission is genuine, then there's no need to respond to the negativity because someday the fruit of your work will manifest. I am putting my reputation on the line. This is 100% grassroots. We are not getting any government funding. We are not affiliated with anyone and we are nonpartisan. Some of my critics or naysayers ask me, why should I build a black business in Chicago if I am not getting any support from the black community? I explained to my critics that in every major city in America, places like Atlanta, Baton Rouge, Baltimore, Philadelphia, and Harlem, in those inner cities, you will see the exact same thing. Poverty, high crime, 
drugs, gangs, and failing public schools because that same slave mentality or Willie Lynch mentality is present. I wrote my my revised book in order to generate capital slash seed money so that I can hire qualified black middle class professionals who will assist me in the daily operation of the of my business and make sure that sure that it remains effective and successful for years to come, but that didn't happen. I have sacrificed 31 years of my life online and offline trying to recruit brave and smart, like-minded black people, African people, across, and across the United States and abroad to work with me and turning my vision and plan into a reality. And yet, still to this day, I only have one person in Chicago who is working with me, and that is Sister Renee. The book stops here. Selling a book or selling items from my virtual store is not a scam. Let's keep it a buck. A majority of black people don't care about a solution. Otherwise, my revised book would have been embraced by black America years ago. For those of you on my Facebook friends list or in my social groups, if you believe that this is a scam, then delete me off the friends list and don't come to none of my future events with, that has my name on it. Social media has many con artists on here looking, lurking for the victims. This is what, why I am pushing so hard to move my Christian socialist organization from behind a computer and make our presence known in the African-American community, starting in Chicago. I also plan on having African immigrants in America who are from the following African nations. They are South Africa, Liberia, Ivory Coast, Ghana, Nigeria, Angola, Kenya, Ethiopia, Tanzania, and Uganda, for them to purchase my revised book and donate to our film project. If they agree with my vision and plan for our black America, then I want them to work with us in getting Gurkayo Chicago up and running so that we can have them as a guide to each African nation we will visit. Once I am able to get my Christian business, Gurkayo Chicago, fully funded, then we are going to declare war on this Willie Lynch mentality within black society. So help me God. In Grecaio, Chicago, we will teach our members and students how to be committed to a cause. I believe as a community, we've lost our integrity, our loyalty, and our commitment to the next generation. On my Twitter page, I mentioned about how these black boule and the political class won't say a word about the anti-black racism, but as soon as we point out the anti-black racism by other groups, then there's a problem. I provide what Andrea Adams and Mayor Eric Adams said in response to the anti-black racism claim. Notice in real time how the political class are siding against us while caping for these other groups. Since the end of the civil rights era, a majority of black Americans have become Americanized, no longer thinking about the collective or the black community, but rather embracing this individualism. If, it, if I was Asian, Latino, or white pushing my agenda for, for their community, Gurkaya of Chicago would have been up and running within two years. My pledge to black millennial, millennials and Generation Z you will not have to experience what I went through just for trying to do something positive in the African-American community because we will have our support systems in place. If you are an active group member, then I will reward you publicly after all this. Christian business is for you and your generation. If I don't fight for our Black youth, who will? My question to my, my listeners. Can you name anyone in politics today who is doing something specifically for black people? If we don't support our advocates, then we won't have any advocates. My question to all my listeners. Name one rich black athlete or entertainer who has built an independent black institution in America since Black Wall Street. The Bible 
Bible says a good man leadeth a inheritance to his children's children, and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Proverbs 13, verse 22. Before I cut and run to Africa, I want to take care of my people or members who are trapped in American ghettos by getting our story on the big screen first. The proceeds from the film would help put me in a better position financially to hire qualified black middle class professionals, buy office equipment, and purchase property in Chicago. The proceeds would also help to us create a team of black middle class professionals who will bring innovative solutions to the African American community. We will execute a new paradigm and raise the bar in black America beginning in Chicago. Now, I do want to mention that, um, yeah, since black America or, you know, black Chicagoans, you know, rejected my vision and plan for the past 31 years, once we get it up and running here in um, Chicago, I'm going to, you know, turn the business over to qualified um, people that's going to help manage it. And I'm going to take my talents and skills to the continent. But again, before I cut and run, I want to make sure I can sustain myself in Africa. That's all I'm saying, because I'm not going to, you know, get bogged down with uh, American issues. I want to bring my talents and skills to the continent and work with Africans that want more out of life. And that's what I want to be remembered for, trying to do something. And it's, it's, it's extremely difficult because this is spiritual warfare at its best. I also plan on having African immigrants in America to assist us in setting up chapters in 10 African nations that we will visit. We will match black entrepreneurs with African entrepreneurs and match black artists with African artists in order for us to do international trade among our brothers and sisters on the African continent once we're established in Chicago. That's my credibility. In time, we will expand to Pacific places in the Caribbean, such as Barbados, Bahamas, Haiti, and Jamaica, as well as in Brazil. So many black people prefer to remain complacent with just focusing on getting their praise on or avoiding social issues, which are affecting black people in America. My wish and prayer for 2023 is that Grecam Group members worldwide would help me get my revised book on the bestsellers list and also that they would donate to our film project either through our GoFundMe page um, or they can just donate through our PayPal page. Then I can discuss doing business with either a legitimate black production company or a legitimate African production company. The purpose of this film project is to share my story and my experience growing up in Chicago and how I ended up creating the grassroots community activist movement in the first place. Grakai of Chicago is more than just a new business endeavor. This is going to be a new system which will offer solutions to solve our social issues in the 21st century if given a chance. Being led by the Spirit of God, Grakai of Chicago will continue to walk, witness, work, and worship in exalting the Savior, equipping the saints, and evangelizing sinners. Our objective to create a sense of national urgency about the genocide which is taking place within our inner cities in America, started in Chicago. We will push for social change through our films, stage plays, music, and using our black media to get our message out to the black masses. We will achieve this through our social media and journalism to change the narrative. We will strive to educate and enlarge our audience of concerned citizens who care about solving black issues in America as well as solving is issues on the African continent. Grakai of Chicago's mission to eradicate urban violence in Chicago through art, culture, commerce, spiritual development, and hosting African tours, and eventually Caribbean tours. To address poverty, institutionalized racism, and police brutality within the black community, 
to promote economic opportunities in the African American community by becoming an advocate, offer stipends and resources for our members based on our budget and sponsorship, offer a second chance program for ex offenders of nonviolent crimes, offer former former gang members and homeless individuals within the African American community to provide quality programs and services in order to strengthen the black family while improving the African American community by creating jobs and building up an economic base to, to heal collectively from this Willie Lynch mentality or slave mentality by forming an alliance with the black immigrant communities in America starting in Chicago so that so they can also heal from colonized mindset to examine the, the Amish community, the Asian community, and the Jewish community so that we can practice group economics and form our own code of conduct to welcome non-black sympathizers into our space only as individuals, not as groups, to separate ourselves from degenerates, con artists, hardened criminals, urban terrorists, active gang members, off-code Negroes, and pedophiles, to make, the, to make Chicago a model um, before we expand to other cities, but uh, again, at least I'm gonna. My my job is to get it started here in, in Chicago. Now, if it expand to other cities, that's cool. You know, I would like for it to become a franchise. But if not, hey, I tried. Again, I don't want to waste another 31 years of my life reaching out to people that just don't care. That's why, uh, you know, I want to make sure that you know this organization we're going to be membership based. To advance public policies and opportunities in the African-American community, Burkhardt Chicago will be a multi-purpose facility based on two business models, a nonprofit sector and a for-profit service um, business model. It will have seven separate components under one roof, a social service component, a spiritual component, which will be optional for secular individuals, Political component, an um, entertainment component, an uh, entrepreneur component, a black media component, which will be the new black voices of media, health and wellness components. The benefits of being a Gurkai member. We were offer, offering an opportunity to black youth to be in our films while earning a stipend. Food pantries for needy black families, on site child daycare housing assistance pending on our budget and sponsorship, utility bill assistance pending on our budget and sponsorship. We will offer workshops slash seminars in financial literacy to our students and members so that they can gain various financial skills, including personal financial management, budget budgeting, and investing. We will offer real estate courses and dietary slash nutrition providing quality programs and services to the low-income African-American community, strengthen single black mothers, single black fathers, and low-income to parent black families within the African-American community. I encourage my Christian group members in Light of the World Inspirational Group and Christian Spoken Word Network to take the Gracam 2023 challenge by helping us get my revised book on the bestsellers list and donate to our GoFundMe page so that we can do those greater works that is written in the Bible. John chapter 14, verse 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the work that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father, unquote. I encourage my international group members in Gurkai of Africa and my secular group members in Gurkai of Chicago, the new black voices of media, etc., to step up and help us get my revised book on the bestsellers list and donate to our GoFundMe page so that we can get our story on the big screen and into the African American community. I lack two things the manpower and the capital. This is why I wrote my story in the first place and created a virtual store. Yet I have little to no support. I just want our black youth to know 
I'm trying to do something to help their situation here in America before I cut and run to Africa. I encourage both Christian and secular people to bring their talents and skills to help me build this new movement in black America. Our ancestors built, built America. I am trying to build something positive and productive for our black youth and their families. This is what I want to be remembered for. Through the Kai of Chicago, we are going to move our members from poverty, ignorance, and dependency into learning financial literacy and embracing black economic empowerment. Nobody is going to help us. We have to help ourselves first by supporting this film project and helping me get my revised book on that bestsellers list. It's not my burden alone, but rather a shared burden, for I am just one black man with a vision and a plan. It takes a team to make a dream work. Gurkham is a global community of thinkers and builders. I need your help to move Gurkham from behind the computer first on the big screen, then into the African-American community that need our talents and skills. Since Black America, since Black Chicago has overlooked and rejected my vision and plan, my Christian business will be membership based. Everyone will be checked at the front door, meaning we will be screening and checking people's paperwork. We will hold mandatory orientations. Everyone who wants to become a Gakai member must sign the community pledge, no exceptions, pass our criminal background check, and submit their thumbprint so that they can be placed in our database. This will help weed out people who are trying to undermine our work. Anyone that tries to change our focus will get two warnings. The third time that person or person will be placed on our Judas list along with their name, photo, and address. And they will be barred for life. This is how I get down. Anyone who tries to rip me off, I will blast them on our black media. And we will take legal action against such persons. In this business, we will raise the standard in black America. This is my contribution back to my community, society, and throughout the African diaspora. Jesus slash Yahshua has called me to connect with other like-minded black people and African people so that we can build a new system which will give black women and black men equal status through education and in business. Gracayo Chicago will help build a bridge between the diaspora and continental Africans. We will teach our members how to mobilize and work together for the common good of Africa, which is to rid ourselves from being dependent on Western nations. Our objective in Africa is to create a genuine, sovereign, and self-sufficient Africa for both continental Africans and for the diaspora can rightfully benefit from. Our programs are focused on rebuilding Africa to secure our future. The talent and technology to rebuild Africa is here. We need continental Africans and the diaspora to unite and help Africa experience her true potential. If we lose the continent, we lose everything. This is our last chance to get it right while we still have a little time left for the sake of our children. The Grassroots Community Activist Institute of Africa will also play a incentric role in ushering in an African renaissance sons, in which the diaspora and continental Africans will pull our resources together in hopes of returning Africa back to her golden age. The time is now to sow seeds of hope, prosperity, peace, and sovereignty and plant them. So in the future, we will reap a mighty harvest for Africa and the diaspora to prosper from. Please partner with us in making this objective a reality by purchasing my revised book and donating to our film project. Africa will, will control its destiny and resources and does not have to rely on foreign exporters who do not serve the best interests of African people. I need my group members from Gurkai of Africa to step up and encourage your family members or friends from your country who reside in Canada, Europe, or the United States to purchase my revised book and encourage them to donate to our film project. This is why I keep bringing up Nehemiah. He did not rebuild the walls of Jerusalem by himself. He had qualified architects, bricklayers, and engineers. The talent to rebuild Africa is here. But we just gotta um, 
utilize the resources that we have, pull our resources together to make this happen. The grassroots community activist movement is here, and we will take the lead. It's time for black Americans and African immigrants to start building, creating, growing, and learning about each other and work together as a team and expand our Christian business to 10 African nations, the Caribbean and Brazil. There's no better time than now for us black Americans to start building up our own black businesses, corporations, real estate businesses, traveling agencies, amusement parks, hotels, law firms, construction companies, black media companies, and schools. Some of us have small businesses or storefronts. That's fine and all, but we need bigger and better things. We gotta start thinking on a global scale and leave the peanuts to the elephants. It's time to Network, pull our resources together and start building big. We've done marching and protesting. 60 years is enough, y'all. Please leave a public comment about the topic in the comment section on my YouTube channel. Most of all, share this video podcast with your friends. This will help get the ball rolling. If you would like to meet me in person, then purchase my revised book and make arrangements to come to Chicago. We can meet at the Harold Washington Library so that I can answer any or all of your questions. I am on a shoestring budget. I won't be able to run all over America because I'm not running for public office. I encourage everyone on my Facebook friends list and all of my, our listeners worldwide to join my virtual organization, the Grassroots Community Activist Movement. It's for both Christians and secular people. And, and others who are from the art, science, literature community. We provide free educational webin webinars, membership options, donation options available. We are trying to move Gracam from behind a computer onto the big screen, then into the African-American community starting in Chicago. Without support from the black grassroots and the global African family, then I am unable to do my job. All I can do is pray and watch our black youth in America face unnecessary casualties. And that's not what I want to see. But God give us free will. And uh, I just want to say, I want everyone to say this with me too, that's members, not another 31 years. Let's make this happen, y'all. Because, again, I don't know how long this is going to take for this uh, film project to get fully funded and made. But the ball lies in your court. I've done all that I can do, humanly possible. Our second topic, reparations for descendants of, um, of American slaves slash foundational black Americans. I found a few articles about reparations for descendants of American slaves slash Foundational Black Americans. I provide my sources on my medium transcript under show and prove. I found an article from the New York Post entitled, quote, New York, New, New York Makers Push for Slavery Reparations for Black Residents, unquote. You have New York lawmakers pushing for a coalition to study reparations. I found another article for from Fox LA entitled, quote, California Reparation proposal could mean $223,000 per person in payments for black residents, unquote. The state of California is discussing a bill that would give African-American residents $233,000 each. People are starting to pay attention to what's going on in California. Governor Gavin Newsom is thinking about running for president. The reason why... Reparation is such a hot topic is because this is going to be a lifeline for Democrats. It's the Civil Rights Bill 2.0. The Democrats know every two years they are losing more voters because the black baby boomers are dying off and they know they have to face us, black millennials and Generation Z. In California, they gave a number. If they pass it and Gover Governor Gavin Newsom signs it into law, then the Democrats would have the black vote. The, the politicians are only doing this to benefit themselves. If a political candidate is not for reparations, then I am not voting for them. 
we have to be a single issue voter. Truth be told, I believe Gavin Newsom is just doing this because reparation is a buzzword for 2024 to get black people to the polls. It's it's a trick. Also, what needs to be fixed in black America will take more than money. For example, you give Willie Bob $233,000. What can he afford? Will reparation stop mass incarceration? Will reparation stop urban gentrification? Will reparation stop police brutality? We have to hold everyone accountable for the slave trade, including the Arabs, during East African slave trade and the Catholic Church. As I, met, as I explained to my group members years ago, we have a better chance at receiving reparations if more of us got dual citizenship in an African nation because they have American companies in Africa that we can boycott, while continental Africans can also push for their reparations from Pacific European nations for colonization. Please leave a public comment about the topic in the comment section on my YouTube channel. Most of all, share this video podcast with your friends. This will help get the ball rolling. And I want again, I want to thank all of my listeners, you know, for listening to this um, pod, video podcast. Again, uh, Happy New Year's. And um, from this day forth, you know, I want us to spread the word, you know, share um, my go my GoFundMe page um, with your friends. That's important. Also, um, make sure that you all have uh, subscribed to my YouTube channel and share that with your friends too as well. Because that's the only way we're going to be able to move to the next level, y'all. I can't do everything. I've been pushing this thing my best. I've been doing my best. God knows I have. But again, I'm not just doing this stuff just to be doing something. I'm doing something to help our racial group. They, uh, our youth are in trouble, big time. And we got this Willie Lynch mentality amongst us, the masses of us. That's a shame. So that's how come I want to make sure first and foremost that uh, I weed out you know, the people that's against us. Because once I start making money from this um, Christian business, everybody in Chicago is going to want to come out and want to be a part of this stuff. But, you know, this has been a thorn in my flesh. So, you know, I'm not doing this to be popular and all that stuff, you know, for Chicagoans. I'm doing this, you know, for, our, for the next generation and for our youth, our black youth that's going through unnecessary uh, casualties. Because, because of this Willie Lynch mentality. But um, again, this is, um, I believe the Holy Spirit is going to perform um, a miracle on my behalf. Once we get this organization up and running in Chicago, then we can bring it to the African continent. That's the main thing. So that's all I'm trying to do. With that being said... Um, I might open up the phone lines, you know, that would be cool that people call in. And uh, I'll wait around for about 15 minutes. If I don't hear from anyone, then that's going to conclude our show for today. Phone lines are now open. <laughs>